Making Pokemon. It's been a long time since we've done a live stream, so I thought it would be a good opportunity um, to stream this PSA return. These were both the, uh, these are two separate orders of 20 cards, and these were both the, um, I guess it's economy, the $50 card tier. So I secured these two allocations, and uh, I finally got them back. I believe the turnaround time that they advertised was 90 days, and I got them back in maybe two months, so like 60 days. So not too bad of a turnaround time, 50 bucks a card. One of them is mostly MetaZoo, and the other one has like some random stuff in there that I'm going to explain to you guys in a minute. So we'll stream this because I figured it would be a long one because I think, like I said, I think it's 40 cards. So, And there's some really good ones in here too. There's some really expensive uh, high-grade MetaZoo stuff in here that I was really excited about uh, receiving 10s. Let me see if this is the front or the back. Okay, those are the backs. So we'll go through this first order here. I'm not really sure which one is which. Like I said, one of them has some random stuff in there that's not MetaZoo, and I'll explain that to you guys um, in a minute. What's up, Zach? All right. So the first card. Let's see what we got. Oh. So we got Awful from Wilderness in a PSA 9. So we'll have to start a 9 pile here. So one of these, I think, is mostly Wilderness cards. I think. And that's probably this one. Awful in a nine. And probably every nine that we get in this video is going to be on my eBay page later, so you can check the link in the description for that. Um, and there's also going to be uh, some duplicate tens in here, I'm pretty sure. Another awful nine. What an awful grade. <laughs> I know there's at least one ten for awful. Dragon of Oconto Falls, one of my favorite cards from Wilderness. I think one of the best uh, hollow patterns. In MetaZoo, this kind of rainbow pattern, that got a 10. Beautiful card. So let's put that in the 10 stack. Zach says he's at work right now watching the kids, but my cutie was going live. We're cracking some stuff on the 25th for sure, bro. We got a 9 on the Dragon of Oconto Falls. I swear there's a 10 for Awful in here. Maybe there's not. Another 9 for Dragon of Oconto Falls. So far, Wilderness is looking to be like a very 9-heavy set. These are all obviously packed fresh. Dragon of Oconto Falls 9. I was waiting for any awful pun. <laughs> Took you about 15 seconds. All right, what else we got? Another Dragon of Oconto Falls. Here's a 10, so there's a duplicate 10. So one of these will be on my eBay later. All right, let's see what we got here. Jeff the Ref, what's up, bro? Metapoo, Magicast Mothman, Hollow Nine. Ooh, nice. Crypto Nation First Edition, Loveland Frogman. We got another 10. Nice. So I had two 10s in my collection. I sold one of them, so now I'm back to having two. That's going to go back up in the display case. Uh, Zach's. Okay. Yeah, we are going to crack some stuff on your birthday for sure. I just haven't decided what yet. Oh, this one got an 8. The Metapoo Mothman Hollow and an 8. Dr. Rad, what's up, bro? I think one of those got, got a 10. Ooh, nice. So this is one of the nice ones to get. This card is apparently pretty hard to get in a 10. This was the Metapoo Hollow Mothman. This was the, from the April Fool's set that they did. And this came back a 10. I was super excited to see that. I think... Well, maybe when it came out, when they were first being graded, I saw one of these sell for like 800 bucks. I doubt it's that high now because everything's been, everything's been tanking so much. But that card in a 10, definitely going in the uh, personal collection of Mothmen. Piazza Bird, Cryptid Nation First Edition in a 10. So I was trying to uh, expand my first edition graded collection because really all I have is a couple first edition Mothmen, the first edition Loveland Frogmen, and that's it. So I wanted to grade some of the other hollows that I liked, like Piazza Bird. I think there might be some Bigfoot in here. Hodag, something like that. And I think we got back-to-back 10s -back on Piazza Bird, so one of those will probably be on eBay as well. But I've pretty much got every card from Nightfall in a 10, and now that I've sent in all these Wilderness cards, I've got a pretty good hollow collection from Wilderness in a 10. So I wanted to expand my uh, Cryptid Nation First Edition collection in a 10. Okay, nice. So another 10 for Mothman. This was from the Cryptid Nation Blind Box, the the, uh, the Pin Club collection. Good to have that in a 10. That'll go to my Mothman 10 collection. I've got like, 
I, I probably have 10 different variants of Mothman now in a 10 after these submissions. Another blind box pin club Mothman in a 9. Oh, another 10. Nice. For the pin club Mothman. So then one of those will be on eBay. Any duplicates or any nines that you see in this video. Oh, nice. The blister pack. First edition. Got a 10. Metazoo always looks so good in the slab. Yes, I, I've been saying that forever, man. The red border for the PSA slabs and the red border on the Metazoo cards make them look so good in a slab. So that got a 10. Nice. That all, that's another variant of Mothman that I did not have prior in a 10. Ooh, yeah, this is this is the big hitter. I was really excited about this. I saw uh, Argos just graded one of these, and he got an 8 on a pack fresh. This is from the Dimac. These were the T-shirt blind boxes where you got a random T-shirt and you got a random promo card. And I, I actually won this on a, on a Whatnot stream. I spun the wheel on one of those like kind of gambling trading card streams. And I won this for free. I didn't even spend any money to spin the wheel. And he sent it to me, and it ended up getting a 10. And this is one of my... Uh, this and the Revive Mothman are probably my two favorite alternate Mothman artworks. I think it just it looks so good. Very happy about this being in a 10. Miss you, bro. Should we rip a Mothman for the culture? Kobe, I miss you too, bro. I'm going to try to be more active on here. I'm going to get some more stuff to open. I've just been kind of MIA. It's been, uh, you know... The economy has sucked. It's kind of slow season right now. There isn't really anything crazy to open that I'm super excited about. I mean, the Pokemon stuff that's been coming out. I do have a bunch of uh, pre-ordered uh, Pokemon Go set. Thank you for the donation, by the way. That new Pokemon Go set looks cool. So I am planning on doing some Charizard hunts for that new... Uh, what's it called? It's not called a Shining Charizard. Brilliant Charizard or something like that. Ooh, another 10 for the Mothman Blister Pack promo. But I, am, I bought a bunch of those uh, from the Pokemon Center, those like Pokemon Center ETBs, and I pre-ordered a couple other products that I think will be fun to open. Uh, but as far as Pokemon goes, there hasn't really been anything I've been super excited to open, so I just kind of, I've been skipping on it. Radiant Charizard, that's it. So I've kind of been passing on a lot of the new Pokemon stuff. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Everything's good in the bodybuilding world. It, it was kind of slow January, February, because there weren't any shows or anything, but now there's a... Uh, a bunch of shows and everything's picking back up. Okay, yeah, so this is the one with, with some random stuff. So if my dad's watching this, his Father's Day gift is in this uh, is in this set. Which I don't think I got any 10s, which was disappointing. So I'll explain it to you. So there was this, uh, my dad's name is Russ. And when he was in high school, his nickname was Russell the Muscle. So I came across this randomly. There was a Garbage Pail Kids character that came out when he graduated from high school around the same time. It's from the 80s. And I think it was actually 82. It was like the year he graduated, and it was called Russell the Muscle. And that was his nickname in high school. So I got a bunch of these uh, Garbage, Pail Kid, Garbage Pail Kids cards graded to try to get him a 10 for Father's Day. But I don't think any of them came back a 10. We're going to find out what they are. And these were like, I'll show you. His favorite color is also blue, just like me. So I found this blue... They're like stuck together. I found this blue variant of the Russell the Muscle that they came out with actually in 2020. And I thought I had to get some graded for him because he does watch some of these streams. He might even be watching right now. Um, he just never comments, but this one got an eight. That's the lowest grade we've gotten tonight, isn't it? I don't remember what the highest grade was for the, for the Russell the Muscles, but I know he likes blue. So I tried to only grade the blue ones. They count like the garbage pail kids hollows. They come in all these different color variants of this kind of hollow border or whatever you want to call it. And this one was the only blue variant. So I bought a crap load of these on eBay and just sent them straight to PSA. Pogo dad. What's up, bro? There's a seven man. Garbage pail kids, not great and easy. I figured the newer ones would be easier to grade than these older ones because these are from the 80s, and I assumed, just looking at them, it didn't really look very pack fresh. I bought a few of them, and none of them really looked like they were super fresh. They all had kind of some, some corner damage, some whitening, and I thought it might be easier to try to get a 10 on the, uh, on the more modern-looking ones. Another 8. Did we do better than an 8? It'd be disappointing if we didn't even get a 9. 
I can't remember how many of these I sent. Maybe like 10. I think like half the submission was these Garbage Pail Kids cards. Another eight. So future note to self, if we ever grade any more Garbage Pail Kids cards, try to give them a good look over before we send them in. This is the last one. And a seven, so eight was our best grade, really? I guess the centering on that one is pretty bad. But I just sent every single one that I bought just to try to get the, uh, just to try to get a 10 for him. I'm sure he'll appreciate the thought. So I think there's MetaZoo in here. There might be some Pokemon. I can't really remember. Another Dragon of Okanto Falls 10. Very nice. So this is the third 10 that we've got for this card. We got Snipe in a nine from Wilderness. Snipe in a 10 from Wilderness, very nice. Did you get any CDs today? Honestly, bro, I didn't. I'm just not interested in it. They're, they've done so many, I like MetaZoo and I like that they've come out with so many ancillary products that you can just, you can have all these different options and all these different drops to buy from. But I just, honestly, I just was not into it. I wasn't into really any of the promo cards. And I knew if I bought a bunch of the CDs, I was just going to throw a bunch of CDs away. And it just seemed wasteful. So I figured, let someone else buy them that actually is interested and, and wants to get them. Because I knew I was going to buy the CDs, keep the cards, and then just throw a bunch of CDs away. And that's, I'm just not interested enough to do that. Plus, to be honest, I don't even think I own a CD player. I don't even know how I could play it. Awful and a 10. So there's our there's our PSA 10 awful. So now we've got pretty much all my favorite hits from Wilderness and a 10. I can't remember. There might be some Bigfoots in here. I can't recall, though. Cumberland Dragon in a 9. Maybe it's Cumberland Dragon that I was thinking of. There's a Bigfoot. PSA 10, Wilderness Bigfoot. Very nice. I thought I sent more Cumberland Dragons than that, though. PSA 9, Wilderness Bigfoot. That'll be an eBayer. <laughs> Another 9 for Bigfoot from Wilderness. And actually, I do have a, a few more of these submissions coming in. I've got, I think, two or three more... Uh, of this tier, the $50 card tier coming back. Then I just sent one brand new submission in yesterday, and I'm still waiting on one of my value tier submissions from like two years ago that still hasn't come. And there's like 190 cards in that submission. There's Yu-Gi-Oh!, a bunch of the Pokemon McDonald's promos. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff in that one. So that one should be coming back soon as well. So we should have a lot of new... Uh, a lot of new stuff to open. So there's our first 10 for Cumberland Dragon. And also, I didn't even remember this, but there was a 87 card submission that I sent to Beckett that they just, I sent this like two years ago and they just now scanned it into the system and like notified me that they got it. So I, I'm not really sure what's in that one, but apparently I did send like 87 cards to Beckett via their value tier and they're just now scanning it in. I didn't even see it on my account until a couple of days ago when they charged me like three grand for it. I was like, what is this charge from Beckett? I didn't think I sent anything else. Cause they, I don't like the way they invoice you. They charge you before they even grade it. They charge you like as soon as they scan your package, which is kind of annoying. Another 10 for Cumberland Dragon. I don't think these last three are all Cumberland Dragon. I think there's something else in here. Cumberland Dragon nine. Whoa, Bigfoot in a six. What went wrong with that one? What did I miss on this one? Why is that a six? Oh, I didn't even see that before. Some kind of something funky going on with the hollow there. It's not a print line. It's like a, I don't know what that is. Some kind of damage on the... I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's like these bumps right here on the hollow are like raised up. It's kind of weird. Oh, there is one more Garbage Pail Kids. Okay. Let's see what we got. The final card for Mr. Russ on Father's Day. A seven. 
Damn, man. We couldn't get a single nine. Well, all right, guys, we tried. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Like I said, there's going to be some more of these. Zach's birthday is the 25th. We're going to stream an opening then. Um, and I'm going to try to get some more Pokemon MetaZoo news videos out. But hit that like button before you guys leave. Hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. Um, I appreciate seeing you guys again. And as always, appreciate you guys. Actually, I don't even know how to end the live on here. Let me see here. Okay, I see it. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength of Pokemon signing out.